Hunter's vigilance and quick thinking led to the arrest of an accused predator and potentially prevented more women from falling victim. News for us, Ray Vieta tonight bringing the story live from Clifton. Ray, she's urging everyone. And to just be aware of their surroundings. That's right, Stephanie, and that's why this family is sharing their story. It all started yesterday with a trip to this Barnes and Noble and ended in a traumatic experience for a mother and daughter inside a public bathroom. Inside a place full of books, full of learning, a horrifying experience for a Secaucus teen. I was like, that's a camera, they're filming me, like... This isn't supposed to be happening. 18 year old Madison Delaney says she went to use the bathroom at the Clifton Barnes and Noble Wednesday afternoon, just before 12:15. That's when she noticed a handheld camera pointed at her from the stall next door. I was terrified, but the only thing I could think to do was I have to get an employee in here because they can get to the police. And the only way I could get to an employee without screaming or anything like that would be to text my mom. So she sent this flurry of text messages where she tells her mother, someone next to me in the stall just used a GoPro to film, I'm terrified. I'm scared, get someone, tell somebody that works here and please just come get me. Madison's mom says she rushed to the bathroom with an employee. And I told her it was okay to come out. She came out, I kind of put her behind me towards the exit of the bathroom. The suspect, they say, was in the stall next to hers, marked out of order. A sign they were later told appeared to be fake. After repeatedly knocking on the door, the suspect, they say, finally opened. First thing he said was, um, did I do something wrong? Police showed up minutes later. In a statement, Barnes & Noble says in part, we were disturbed to learn of the incident that happened yesterday in our store. When store employees were alerted to the situation, they immediately notified the police and the suspect was apprehended. A suspect under arrest in police custody but the experience now holding them captive, too. I'm shocked at how I can't remove it from my head at all. Like, every time I think that maybe it's slipped by, like, maybe I'm distracting myself well enough, it's right back in there, and I see his face. Her mother adds she hasn't been able to sleep, replaying everything and wondering what if. They're glad it ended the way it did. The Passaic County Prosecutor's Office is now handling the case. We've reached out to them numerous times tonight, have not heard back, but we'll stay on top of it. We're live in Clifton, New Jersey tonight. I'm Ray Vieva, News 4 New York.